your crush is gonna appear. Oh no, my life is over. Come on, sissy, it's not gonna be. Mr. Smith. You have a crush on your math teacher? No. <laughs> No one can know this. No one can see your crush unless they make eye contact with you. Oh yeah, that'll be great because nobody looks me in the eyes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Giving myself a fake fever so mom won't make me go to school. Nice try, honey. I heard that. Uh, Bria? Bria? Hey, how y'all doing? I think the better question is, how are you doing? Why do you have sunglasses on? Um, no reason. Girl, be for real with us. What happened? All right, fine. Just look above my head. Oh, what? <gasps> Having a crush on Mr. Smith is crazy. I did not expect that. Look, it's not my fault that I find older men attractive, all right? What am I going to do? Um, I would suggest maybe go see a therapist. <laughs> oh my gosh, Courtney, stop. Gee, thanks for that. <laughs> Rhea, please remove the sunglasses. Rhea, please remove the sunglasses. Um, I just had laser eye surgery, so I can't. Stop lying, Bria. You know sunglasses aren't allowed in the classroom. <laughs> We're not allowed to wear hats in the classroom either, Bria. Come on. Mr. Smith wants to see your eyes. Hey, did you need any help with your homework? No, nope. Didn't need any help at all. Okay. Okay, well, that's good. Bria, it's a little disrespectful to not look at me when I'm speaking to you. What's going on with you today? You're usually so... Friendly. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny... Stop! What the heck, Stacy? Uh, girl, look up. I just saved your life. They banned Christmas music. This is ridiculous. I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Who is that? It's Mr. Smith. He's singing Jingle Bells. He has his AirPods in. Mr. Smith, stop! One horse open. No. Sweetheart, you gotta smile. It's picture day. Come on. I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh. Not today. Ew, you got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh, no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ma'am. You do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! So glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks, I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. Someone is seriously out to get me. Oh gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry, did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet, and here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. Oh. I am not taking this off. Help me hide, come on. Please, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wear a- This way, let's go. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. Oh. I'm not taking this off. Help me hide, come on. Please, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wear a- This way, let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually a great idea. Right? Okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know, your hands are kind of shaky, so... Jake, I'm fine, just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake! I'm kidding, chill. Here, take the- I'm safe! Uh, but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um... Why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop! Stop looking! Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because... that's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency! Change the band item! How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency! Change the band item! How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. 
How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it said dress? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe- This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me! Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me! Sit in the elimination chair and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me. When I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops. Now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay. Just choose to save yourself. No, Dad. I'm not going to make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. Get a giant teddy bear or become an adult? What kind of options are these? I'm gonna have to go with- Honey, don't pick your wish until I get back from vacation. Fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, and while I'm gone, your big sister's in charge. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I promise we'll take great care of her. Let me see that. Hey! Sorry, but I'm not having you turn into one of those iPad kids. No more iPad for you. No, sissy. Bye. <laughs> oh, she's so mean. Hm. If I can be older than sissy, then I can boss her around. What the heck? Nothing even happened to me. Oh, I feel sleepy. Oh, that was a really long nap. My voice, it sounds different. It worked! All right, if you want your iPad back... <gasps> Who are you and what did you do with my little sister? Sissy, no, listen, it's me. Yeah, right, you creep. Where is she? Please, put those scissors down. You're scaring me. Tell me something only my sister would know. Um... Tell me something only my sister would know. Oh, when I was three, I flushed your goldfish down the toilet because I thought I was saving its life. There's no way you could have known about that unless... Sadie? Duh, who else would it be? Why do you look like this? You look like a younger version of Mom. Well, I kind of sort of used my Christmas wish. You wish to become an adult? Sadie! This is all your fault, really, because you're the one that locked me in my room and took away my iPad. So now that I'm an adult, I order you to give it back to me. <laughs> just because you look like an adult doesn't mean I'm treating you like one. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself, because I found a driver's license and a credit card in my pocket. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Sadie, wait! Oh, I cannot believe I'm letting you drive me right now. I told you, I've done so many car simulation games that I'm practically a pro at driving at this point. There's a tumbleweed! We are going in and out of this- Hey, beautiful. Store. Is there any chance I could get your number? No, sir. She is eight years old. <laughs> Funny. The answer is no. L let's go. You're not getting that. You're getting age-appropriate clothes. No, I like my clothes and I want this. Sadie? Don't you dare start cr- Oh my god, is she okay? Do I need to call the police? No, ma'am. <sighs> good morning, sissy. No, Sadie, it is not a good morning. I cannot believe you suckered me into letting you buy that. Well, if you didn't, they were gonna call the cops since I was crying so much. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute, your hair looks different. Did you get it done? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks great, except for the fact that you snuck out without telling me. I don't have to tell you anything, because I'm an adult now. You need to take back your wish. No, I like being grown up. Sadie, you don't get what it's actually like to be grown up. You don't see how much I've been taking care of you. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You know what? I'm leaving. Sissy. No, you should see what it's really like to be an adult. How hard could cooking breakfast actually be? I can make mac and cheese in a pan, right? I'll just let it boil on high for one hour. Ooh, 
That must be my delivery. This giant dollhouse better be easy to assemble. Why is this instruction manual so confusing? And now my eyesight isn't as good as it was before. <gasps> my mac and cheese! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> What happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay. Hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out. Come here. That was a lot of smoke. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me. Sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm going to be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would because... Nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> My voice is back on me again! Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> My soulmate controls my brain or my hand. Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math. So, um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um... I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough, I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute, I like it. Okay, okay, we have to the party now. Hey, Brie, nice dress. Thanks. <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I I better go. Oh. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. My excuse. I'm serious, you could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new stick. Alright, I'm gonna get ready to go to sleep. Oh my god! Please tell me that's you at my door. You, Jason's soulmate. Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, it must be. Get him. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Ah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand. Is that... Ah, you got me right in the eye. Ah. Oh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's gonna do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. 
You know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now, there's no one left to save you. You know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand, what do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were gonna use you as bait to get to him. But we're gonna make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be- Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine, remember I have a plan. He's still alive, so we're moving you to a different little- Oh, oh, not today. Hey Jason, surrender now or I'll kill him. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand, huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy. <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's worth a shot. Sweet. Whoa, it totally worked! And now, it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight, and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little. <laughs> la 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 la. Can I play with one of your toys, too? No. Why not? Because you're not my real sister. Yes, we are. Sasha said she said that we are. You're literally just proving my point. You call her Sasha, not mom. When I get a real baby sister, that's when I'll share my toys. Thank you for saving us from that evil girl. Yeah, she was so mean to us. Don't worry, guys. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Hey, Sasha. So I was wondering, since it's almost Halloween, do you think I could get some money for a costume? If you want one, Jane, buy it yourself. But you bought one for Anna. Yes, but that's that's different. Whatever. My mom said that when she was a baby, they found her on the side of the highway. <gasps> no way. Her real parents just ditched her like that? It's no wonder that she has so many issues, right? It makes so much more sense now. <laughs> okay, girlies, let's go do our Halloween makeup, and then we'll get into our costumes. Yay! Look at this new makeup palette I got. Wait a minute. Are those my stuffed animals from when I was little? No. Uh-huh. And where did you get the money to buy that costume? I found some money on the street. You little thief! Give me that hey. bucket! Oh my gosh, is this your little stash of all my stuff? Mom, come here and look at this. <gasps> you don't even use any of that. It doesn't matter. I will not allow a thief to live in my home. So what? You're gonna kick me out? As a matter of fact, I will. Whatever, I don't need you guys anyways. I know you only adopted me, so you could look good in front of your rich friends. Oh, how dare you. Here, this is all the money I'm giving you. Good luck living on the streets. You know, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. No, dear. You're 18 now. This will be good for you, Jane. It was nice knowing you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being broken homeless. <laughs> you know what? The heck with them. But I promise you guys, I would not leave you with her. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Excuse me, miss. Do you have any spare money? I'm so hungry. How about this, hun? I'll give you $20 for those two stuffed animals. You know what? Deal. Uh-oh, I only have pocket change. But you said you would give me 20. This isn't worth it. Sorry, honey. I gotta go. Give me back my stuffed animals. Bye. See ya. Hey! Wait a minute. She dropped her credit card. I hope she doesn't mind me going on a little shopping spree. Ow! Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Not. Excuse me, miss. Is your name Jane? No. Freeze! Jane 5, cop 0. Excuse me, miss, I'm homeless, and I was wondering if you have any money. What do you say you come work for me? Okay. Pretending to be your daughter was the perfect distraction. I told you, they never suspect a mother-daughter duo. And this is nothing, kid. If you stick with me, I got a lot more tricks where this came from. Hey, you two! They must know we stole! Stay calm, kid. I got this. Excuse me, officer, there's just been a misunderstanding. I- Officer, help! She's trying to kidnap me! What? I thought we were a team. Hands on your head. I'm sorry, I can't go to jail. I'm sorry, I can't go to jail. This isn't over, kid. Come on, let's go. Okay, you get one phone call. Hurry up. Come on, pick up. Pick up, damn it. Hello? Hey, Kate, it's me. Who? It, it's Jane. Remember I helped you steal... 
I mean, I helped you borrow that car one time. Oh, yes, Jane, I remember you. Yeah, listen, I am in a bit of a jam. I am currently in jail, and I'm gonna need you to bail me out. What? Wait, wait how did that happen? It's a long story, I don't want to talk about it, but uh, let's just say I'm never having kids. <laughs> you always did have a soft spot, didn't you? Okay, are you gonna help me or not? Depends. Is there going to be revenge? Um, it's me. Duh. Then I'm in. See you soon, Jane. Next. What do we got here? Jane Danvers. Okay, here's your stuff. Get out. I can't believe she took your car, too. Yeah, I know. That little brat was a con artist herself. But she's gonna wish she didn't mess with me. You remember the plan? Should do. Let's do this. Oh, hey! Oh, pardon me. I'm such a klutz. Hey. <gasps> Jane, how did you get out of prison? I, uh, I got bailed out, no thanks to you. About how I took your car and turned you in, You I... were just trying to save yourself. Exactly, so you're not mad, right? Nah, come here, give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, ma'am, I just saw that girl take your wallet. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, she did, it's right there in her back pocket. Hey! I didn't take her stupid wallet, she did this! Oh my gosh, please don't hurt me! Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone call the police! You're coming with us! Get off of me, I'm telling you it was her! Later, traitor. Why, you little bit! You sure showed her, Jane. Never tried out, Conacon woman. Precisely. Cat sit for a millionaire or babysit for a billionaire. I do love cats, but I am allergic, and I think the billionaires are gonna pay more. Thank you for coming. How does 5,000 an hour sound? 5,000? Mm hmm. Is that too low for you? No, no, that's plenty. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Let me just go get the kids. This is Tabitha and Thomas. Now let's go over the rules. Okay. And lastly, bedtime is at 8. Question, when you say the kids aren't allowed outside, how do they go to school? Tabitha is homeschooled. Oh, okay. And of course our son is just a baby. Time for us to go. Yes, don't you worry, Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Your kids are in great hands. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bonked his head. Oh, it's already 8 o'clock. It's time for bed. Uh, Sarah? Yes? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. They're just dreams, sweetheart. You sleep well, okay? Good night. Good night, Sarah. I can't believe I'm working for billionaires. Is that blood? And it just dripped on me from the attic. You saw blood. Yeah, and I'm just a bit concerned because... <laughs> <laughs> blood in the I, can't I don't really see how this is funny. The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. We stole them in the attic. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I may have overreacted a bit. Oh, you poor thing. You were probably terrified. Here's a $100 gift card for your troubles. Well, thank you, but are you sure you don't want my help cleaning up all that mess? No, thank you, but can you watch the kids next Saturday? Yes, of course. Excellent. See you then. Bye-bye now. Please make sure Tabitha does not go in the guest bedroom. We're renovating it, and it's not safe for children. Yes, of course. Understood. <gasps> Sarah! Tabitha, hi! Are you ready to play some games? <laughs> yeah, I missed you. Come on, follow me. I want to play in here. No, no, Tabitha, you're not supposed to go in there. Tabitha, I really don't appreciate you not listening. I saw we. I thought your parents said they were renovating this room. Well, what does renovating mean? It means like to fix it up and make it pretty. It's already pretty. Is that blood on the countertop? Huh? You know what, I'm sorry. It's probably just from your Halloween decorations. Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. That means this blood must be real. If that blood was real, then I'm lucky to have made it home alive. But whose blood would it have been? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. What if Mr. and Mrs. Parker killed Tabitha and Thomas's real parents and that was their blood in the attic? It's them. Hello? We need you, ASAP. Thank you for agreeing to come. See you. See you. If something really is going on there, I'm gonna have to prove it. So when Mr. and Mrs. Parker leave, I'm gonna investigate the attic myself. Hopefully this is tall enough to reach the attic. Say, well, what are you doing? Tabitha, I told you to go watch Coco Melon. No, I want to be with you. What's that? 
It's an Amber Alert for a missing baby, and it's a picture of your baby brother. I think these kids were kidnapped. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. Sarah, please don't hide. We know you saw the Amber Alert, but we can explain. Tabitha? She's calling me. She's trying to trick you. I told you. She's not your real mom. I think they're gone. Are you gonna call the police? My phone died. Shh, Thomas, stop crying. Found you. Don't be scared just because the kids are stolen. It doesn't mean we don't love them. No, you leave the children alone. Yeah. Tabitha. <sighs> what a shame. You're just like our last babysitter. What did you do to her? The blood in the attic. That was hers. And now you're... Oh, oh. Surprise. I'm still alive. Susie. I'm okay. Just call the police. Go get help. Come on, Tabitha. Let's go. Thank you for finding my daughter. And thank you for finding my son. You should really thank the other babysitter. She she was the real hero. It was both of you. You both are responsible for reuniting two children back with their families. I'm glad everyone's okay. Me too. Tabitha wanted to know if you would still want to be her babysitter? Yeah, please. I'm gonna have to go with... Yes. <gasps> Yay! Samantha, who is this boy on your phone that you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced Dad and got that hairstyle, you turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to Dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and ugh. What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16 year old self. I've gotta call Susan. Oh my god, who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing. No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes, I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this. Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was gonna say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tits, we're going shopping. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're gonna need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day. And then you're gonna make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. You know what, Susan? This is gonna be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just gonna be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm gonna be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Can I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no, God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Sam, you're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also brought you some snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? How do you know my name? It says it right there on your backpack. Oh. Did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where's Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is gonna be at your ex-husband's and you met him in high school, so he's gonna recognize you looking like this. What am I gonna do? Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I 
can't believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a... Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh, baby. Sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say that dress looks really good on you. You look gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I- Get out of my house! You heard her get out! Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? what? Why not? She'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? Thank you for coming. I I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Twix. Listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go. But Susan, wait. Where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth, your, your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? H how do you know that? Because I lived it because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. Hey guys! Mom? You look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's alright. I know about the party too, and I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. She was an angel. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! 
place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! The place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah. Do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so. Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Excuse me? I saw this flower and I thought of your face. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Because, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be witch. Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay. Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> and you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. 
I'm telling you, I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you, I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? What's up with your crushes? I don't know, it just- Hey! What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girls' dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's gonna make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad, it's just- You tell me what you posted, right? Oh my gosh, you need to see this. Don't get mad. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's gonna happen when my parents see this video? Are they gonna get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're gonna be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kinda got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow! That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know, they were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya! How much money you got now? Two thousand? Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home? I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine. You're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry! Casey! Bye! You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be a hundred and twenty-two dollars. Where are you going? To the bus. And I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home and this creepy guy was following me so I couldn't get the bus home and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. What's happening? Uh, your friend Casey just posted something. This rich girl literally gets mad at me for not buying her a dress. Buy me this dress? I don't have enough money. Casey! She edited this. I just can't believe that she would do this to me. She definitely got jealous of you getting all these crushes. But you know what? Come on. I'll go with you to go confront her. Look, it's the whiny rich girl. Ew. Get out of here. Hey, the video was faked and we're gonna prove it. Come on. Casey, what is wrong with you? I thought that we were friends. Oh, the video? I was just showing people the real you, that's all. It's not real, you edited it. Yeah! Did you not ask me to buy your dress? You offered to pay for me for that dress. That was before you had $2,000, and then you still asked me to buy it. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't thinking clearly, because I was in the middle of having a panic attack. Well, boo-hoo for you. Just admit you edited the video. Okay, I edited the video. Does that make you feel happy? No one's gonna find out anyways. We wouldn't be so sure about that. Say hello to my live stream with over a million viewers. You've been streaming this? Yep, and you heard the truth here, guys, so pass it on. Whoa. My precious are disappearing. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people on the live stream are shipping us a Well, you can't stuck up for me when my best friend didn't, so... Are you giving me a chance? If you promise no more stalking. Deal! Oh my gosh, I've been dreaming of this my whole life. I mean, uh, I'm cool. I'm cool. Anything I touch turns to money. Or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money, and I don't have any friends in foster care, so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi! I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you gonna be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Oh, Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here, and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you, come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Ugh, just let me see it. Stop! You're gonna break her! Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her! <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola! Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh-oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. Eres mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. 
Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're doll. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. We have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me the stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you. You never paid me back my money. Claire. Claire. How dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted. That's right. And one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no. Sorry. Forget about the money. Bye. Claire. Are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Claire, wait. I understand if you don't want to because I know I'm not that great. What? Why would you think that? Because I'm not as smart or as cute as the other kids. I think that's why nobody wants to adopt me. Oh, Claire. Don't think like that. You're so smart. And you're super cute. Do you really think so? Claire, you can do anything you put your mind to. And anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. We would be honored to be your parents because you're such a good girl. Right, Ken? That's right, Barbie. Really? Yeah. Being a dad sounds fun. Guys, I forgot I had this in my pocket. My puppy. Since we're a family now, do we want to have a pet? Absolutely. Oh. This is going to be so much fun. I'll start looking for Barbie houses for us to live in. I'm so happy for us. We're going to be a great family. Yeah. Barbie and Ken, finally together at last. Ugh. Ow, my head. Barbie, Ken, what's wrong? Ugh, my head. Barbie, Ken, what's wrong? I, I don't know. All of a sudden, we just feel really strange. My powers, they're running out. Oh no. All of you are going to turn back into dolls. How much time do we have left? One minute. Please don't leave me. Claire, we'll never leave you. We might not be able to be your parents, but we'll always be your dolls. Yes, and you're going to get adopted. Do you promise? We promise. I'm gonna miss you so much. We'll still be together. You can take us wherever you go. Barbie, our eyes. They're melting. You guys are crying. Oh, the time's up. You guys are gonna... We love you. See you on the other side. If it isn't the little tattletale, where are your parents now, huh? They're right. They're at home. So you better not try anything or I'm going to tell on you. No, no. I was just wondering. <laughs> I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry. I was just... I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi. Hey. Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. Pet said a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are gonna pay more. We will pay you 500. Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour. Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> Is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. Hello? 
I'm back. Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you- do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry, I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna- You know what, I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. Well, I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait, have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're gonna have to join them. Ugh, oh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're gonna scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great, you know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mommy. Ronald, there you are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. No, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of- Freeze, kid. What the- Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be a boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you? Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. 
Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax! No, dude, let go! Oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me, I know. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry, Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel, this is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying, it's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? No, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way. Hurry. Jeez. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well. Whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think- I think this is good. Thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here! <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine! I don't need to go to Juby! Jeez, help me out! Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no! Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah, how cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my business. <clears throat> Agent 22, Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir, you wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that. And you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. 
I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Babe? Hey, you're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them. Isn't it? What? How did you switch the drinks? Well, that was easy. You looked down for a few seconds to check your phone. I'm guessing it was your boss texting you. I got closer to you, which naturally made you more defensive. And while I was busy trying to hide my phone screen, you switched the drinks. Look who's finally catching on. You sick son of a... Oh, easy now. Let go of me, you deceitful little... Shh. Just relax. It's over, Maya. I have her, sir. Bring her to me. Yes, sir. Mm. Hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I accidentally hit her head, taking her out of the car. You know you're not actually her boyfriend. Yes, sir. I was just... She was an assignment. I understand. Good. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. Wow, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen, I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Mm. Say it! <laughs> John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. Alright, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick. Rick Lawson. You see, John? Her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He, he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. Now, before I kill her, my... You're not gonna touch her ever again! You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here. <gasps> hey, you're awake. What happened? Where are we? It's okay. You're safe now. You passed out after I killed Frank. What am I wearing? Your other clothes had blood all over them. I thought you'd like this dress. Who are you, really? A double agent? Uh, not exactly. That's it. I'm calling my team. No! No phone calls! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to yell. John, what is going on? I can't take any chances. It's complicated, Maya. Uh, my head... Let me look at you. Is it bad? I think you're gonna need stitches. Yeah, I think you are too. Ah! Pizza Town, can we help you? Yes, I'd like to place a very special order. Please state your information. This is Agent 22 Foster requesting immediate backup. Connecting you to the director. Maya, where the hell are you? Um, it looks like some sort of Airbnb. John's unconscious. Stay on the line. I'm tracking your location now. Okay, please hurry. 